Um, it's a great, great way to start the season. I'm proud of our group uh, tonight. I thought Holy Cross was terrific. I, I thought they were so well coached. And I understand, so like, we had no film on them. He's a new coach. We didn't see their private scrimmage. We didn't see their, any of their games. Um, so we really didn't know what they were going to run. Um, we watched Marquette film because that's where he came from. Uh, saw a little bit of that, so it took us a while. But they ran offense faster than for a half faster. And I've been doing this a long time than anybody I've ever coached against. And I, you know, I loved it. I went at halftime. <coughs> this is so good for us guys to play against a team like this. And it's hard when we're just big and tall to chase guys around with five guys that can shoot it. So um, we got better defensively as the game went on. Um, you know, moving forward now, we should have at least one game on Rhode Island uh, preparing for Saturday night. And of course, he coached there last year, so we'll have film from last season too. But um, Brett Nelson is my coach of the year in the Patriot League. I just thought they were terrific. They, they, they went hard, and um, our depth finally got them. Um, you know, we scored 95. I love the pace of the game. We, we scored 95 points, and we were 5 for 27 from 3. And shoot the ball very well. We missed a lot of open ones. And um, probably the thing I was most disappointed in offensively was our shot selection. I thought we took probably five or six bad shots, maybe more when I watched the film. But um, good win for us. You know, there's no easy wins in college basketball. And our guys had to fight, and we got better to play everybody, which is always fun. Questions, please. The Jackers Law Group's successes have resulted in many distinguished awards, including Best Personal Injury Trial Law Firm USA, Maryland's Personal Injury Attorney of the Year twice, and Super Lawyers designation every single year. We succeed because we're willing to try cases, and insurance companies know it. That's why their claim reps often grumble they pay us more in settlements than any other lawyers. You deserve a great lawyer. If you've been hurt in a car, truck, or train crash, call 855-BIG-DOG-1. Turp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C., Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301-251-2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. Not everybody knows who you are. <laughs> Not that good, um, you, you did a mass substitution. You put the four guys in, yeah. and, and Daryl uh, really sort of keep that whole stretch. Uh, talk about what they did I, I, defensively to start, because they seem to confess more shots and, and, and be more active, and then translate that into offense. Yeah, I, you know, I would have subbed five guys if I had a fifth, but I had to keep a point guard on the floor. And so Anthony stayed in because um, I started the two points together. And um, uh, now Daryl was terrific. He, he, he got us going. Um, yeah, you know, we were trying to play defense. We didn't, they were going downhill the whole time. And, and there's a way that we funnel the ball, and, and we practiced that for you know, almost a month. And then tonight it's like, okay, we really can't. We need to force the ball another direction, and so it took us a while to adjust uh, to that. Um, but uh, I, I thought Daryl, you know, just everything, leadership, just uh, everything, just poise. Um, didn't pout because he didn't start. Went out there and he knew he was going to play starter minutes, um, and so that was good to see. And I think we shot a little bit better from the foul line tonight than we did in our game than that. I know Daryl made some in there, and I thought he passed the ball well too. Mark, uh, you talked about in preseason about your depth, and it certainly was displayed tonight. How did it feel to be able to use so many guys and get production from so many guys? Yeah, it felt good. Um, especially when you go at halftime, you look at the stats, and they went like 18 minutes, 17 and a half, 17, 30, and 17 for their starters. And our highest guy was Anthony, like at 16. Then Anthony could play four games in one night. You know, he never gets tired. So, um, I think you felt pretty good about that. And um, yeah, it's nice, and especially when the depth plays well. It's like Dante Scott was terrific. You know, but well, let me get this guy some minutes. But I thought Dante really helped us, plays with toughness, makes plays. Um, they're always great. Um, yeah, it's good. Sorrel came in, hit two shots against the zone. We, were, you know, we, didn't, you know, we didn't score for two possessions against the zone. He hit two threes. So yeah, it's really it's, it's nice. Really nice, and I think it's just going to get better. 
when the new guys, you know, get used to playing and get used to the speed of the college game. Coach, uh, I know you were a little higher on the defense coming in this game than yeah. the offense. Um, but given the fact that Holder Cross shot about 45% from the field, yeah. and, um, you guys did, you know, plus 14 turnovers and eight blocks yeah. like that. But how, how would you assess the uh, defensive performance tonight? Uh, not great. Work in progress. I, I got to give a lot of it to. They were extremely well coached. We had no film on them whatsoever. Um, we might have been able to maybe adjust quicker. Sometimes young guys have to practice it. You just can't talk about it. And um, that might have helped us. I thought we adjust a little bit better in the second half. And the good thing is I'm not afraid to switch one through five ball screens with this team. Um, there were some parts like you know, post defense when we switched wasn't exactly what I wanted and the rotation out of it wasn't what I wanted. But uh, I thought in the second half, besides guarding the ball, you know, uh, it was much better. You, you mentioned the, the face and, and to shoot 76 uh, shots. Um, do you think that's that's a testament to, to who you guys are and what you'll be or, or more kind of what the game and matchup was? I just think it was the game because they play fast. Teams aren't going to come in here and try to play that way every night. Um, so I loved it. I think it was great. I think our guys had fun with it. Um, just wish we had shot a little bit better. We might have had 100 and something up on the board. Um, but uh, we practice that way every day. So if you come watch us practice, we're getting up and down, we're playing fast. And so we like that. We know we have to get better in our half-court offense. We know we have to get better in our half-court defense. It's going to be a big part, but it's November 5th. We know we've never started a season this early. So we have a lot of time to, to get back. Scott, to your left. Uh, Aaron Wiggins, I mean, he was terrific, you know, driving the basket at the dunk early on. So. Floater got fouled, but you know, 0 for 6 from the three point line. Yeah. Do you worry about that at all? Or is it just kind of an off night? I do not worry about it. I got Aaron Wiggins making shots. Um, I did worry about when he fumbled the lob because uh, he was he was it was getting into his head a little bit, and I couldn't get him out. But no, you know, Wiggs, Wiggs is such a better player than he was last year. It's not even close. He's I think he's him and Anthony or you know and Eric Hala, they can all make shots and. Um, we expect every shot to go in. I didn't like the one he shot in the corner after he missed the first one. He kind of like short armed it, and I got in his head. And he's too he's too good of a shooter. He's got to he's got to have a short memory and just try to make the next one. And to your right, what do you need to see from Ricky Lindo? Uh, maybe move on from this one. Yeah, I, I think Ricky's just got to be a little more more consistent uh, defensively for us. Um, but Ricky right now just needs to be a great defender and a great rebounder, and a great hustle guy for us. He got enough scoring. We talked about that. If he can offensive rebound for buckets and hit a wide open three every now and then, that's going to help. Um, he's worked so hard on his offense. I think he worries sometimes too much about trying to score and just being who he is. Um, but he gave us good minutes tonight and gives us great depth, gives us experience, and um, you know, can make adjustments quick, quick with experience. Last one in the back. <laughs> Coach, you've been doing this for a while. What does every opening game of the season mean for you? I know it's the start of the journey, but yeah. for coaching, you know, from a coaching perspective, what is the first game and getting your guys against competition for the first time of the season mean to you? Yeah, every year it's a little bit different because every team is different. Um, I was very confident going into this game that we were going to play pretty well. You know, we weren't perfect, but we played pretty well because um, I watch our guys practice every day. You know, I talked to Brett. I said, I remember my first game 22 years ago, Jacksonville State versus East Carolina. Uh, probably didn't sleep the two nights before. I uh, watched a ton of film. I prepared a lot harder for that one than I did for tonight's opener. Tonight was more about us getting my team better and getting us uh, working on things that we need to get better at. So, but um, it's always fun. And this 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 year could be a lot of fun if we just stay focused, stay selfless, keep getting better. Um, you know, we got a lot of talent, so it could, it could be a lot of fun. Last one on the top. Oh my gosh. <laughs> In terms of Jalen, uh, it seemed like he had a similar game uh, the other night, a little bit of a slow start. Yeah. Um, and then, is it is it just him realizing that he is? bigger and yeah. probably better than most of the guys he's playing against. 
Yeah, so I don't know if you saw, I pulled him over like three minutes into the game, and I was like, quit settling. I mean, he's, he's supposed to roll on somebody's pop, and he's trying to be too finesse and trying to shoot too many jump shots. Um, he needs to get down there, and he's got to be stronger on his moves. But, yeah, he could have had 30 tonight, you know. Um, he just never didn't get it going that first half. Um, but he'll get better. He's, he's really practiced well. And you can tell he's much more consistent. Even though he didn't make those shots, he's more consistent in his play uh, out there. And he's a heck of a player. I'm glad we got him. Thanks, Chris. What players next?